Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Count Christo, joined by Adaway. Say hello, Adaway. Hello there. And we're doing some, uh, some competitive Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer, which will be good fun. I've, uh, I've never done a full proper series like this. So, uh, Compet competitive in italics there. Like, in ita oh, yeah. Not I'm not going oh, to... I'll go easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I like your moustache, by the way, over there. Huh? <laughs> I like your moustache, by the way, over there. To my moustache? Yeah. And your hat. Oh, oh, right. Hitler, you mean? <laughs> yeah, you. I got it. You are Hitler. That's, that's me. You are, in fact, literally Hitler. You want to be mel the, melodramatic the about it. I am Hitler. <laughs> that, is, that is factually correct. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm garrisoning Leningrad. That is, that is literally the first thing I'm going to do. There will be no naval invasions. Not this game. No, sir. <laughs> naval invasions? Leningrad? Yeah, I always naval invade in Leningrad. And you're not going to do it. Yeah, I I never so do that. Yeah, you just send tanks to Leningrad and then you rush Moscow and then they lose. That's what I do. <laughs> that's no, what I, I that's that's just mean though. That's just mean on the AI. Mean? It is mean. Just, they're the Soviets. <laughs> Poor AI. You can't you can't cope with it. It's just doing his best. <laughs> doing his best to not die. So how are you? Oh you're yeah, you're new to you're new to, you're new to this fails. patch. Is that right? I guess. Yeah, I haven't I haven't uh, loaded the game up since uh, the weekend. So you haven't seen the new infrastructure system yet? The what? Buildings are now cheaper when you have higher infrastructure. So it matters where you build your factories. Oh my god, that's way too complicated. It shows on the map what the bonus you're getting from your infrastructure is. Right, okay. How uh, long does the Great Purge give you a penalty for? It's like two years. Oh yeah, sorry, we have some ground rules. Uh, I think we can, we can probably share them with the class. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um... We are going to go with the Brest-Litovsk Treaty because Adway has never done it in hundreds of hours of Hoi 4. He's never, never got. You've got, you've got the wrong treaty there. Have I? Oh, Brest, sorry, I have. Brest-Litovsk I mean, was the, yeah, yeah. the first one. You're treaty. right. You're right. I'm just looking at the. Uh, I do get Brest-Litovsk in this treaty, so it's the malentrov ribbentrop Pact, of course. Oh right. yeah, that crappy Eastern Poland stuff. We take on my land. Crappy Eastern Poland stuff. That's why it's, I never do it. Cool. I'm not. I'm not giving Russia Poland. <laughs> There's like three factories there to be honest yeah all right but you know what we need we need a stalinist constitution I'm... that sounds good to me i just i just bought too much rubber because i realized it hasn't updated the uh <laughs> the uh deficit thing. I, always yeah, but I'm <laughs> I always do that so i think we're gonna play like probably speed three it's probably the best best we can hope for till for, for, peace, for peace time yeah until we actually get to yeah yeah obviously once we get to, to manage divisions and shit yeah, yeah, once we get to war, it's going to be uh, a bit more intense. Yeah. A bit more action. Uh, which do I want now? One, this one. Let me know when you want to... Uh, I am go. pretty much good to go whenever you are. Okay, cool. Let me just... I've got a couple of fronts to assign to take all these troops off the Xinjiang border. I'm not terrified of an imminent Xinjiang I haven't, I haven't even grouped my troops up yet, but I'm... It's true, actually. We don't need to group our troops up. Let's say, uh, yes. well, I'm not going to be fighting anyone in January 36. So. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go with that pact, and obviously that will prevent us from going to war until about 40, 41, depending on how many troops depend we decide to put on each other's mutual borders. That's fine, yeah. All right, so I'm going to commit to this. Str I've come up with a strategy, and we've I've cleared it. I've cleared it with Adaway. I haven't told him the strategy, but I've cleared gamey strats, so there's going to be some, uh, some highly dubious play by the Soviet player. <laughs> See how that goes. Just by the Soviet player. <laughs> it's a good point. It's a good point. There could be some dubious play on all sides, for all I know. So you're looking forward to the Spanish Civil War? Yeah, whenever it whenever it kicks off. I know I am. I got my old video. Yep, I've got my hearts fine muted. <laughs> Whoops. I'll just fix good, that. Good job. I know. Great start. There we go. The tactical genius that can't remember to turn on his audio. That's the uh, that's the person you're facing so far. Be be afraid. Uh, be uh, very afraid. Put those guys in the wrong army, haven't I? There we are. Okay. Ugh. So you don't start off with any deficits, do you, you jammy beggar? <laughs> well, I've got deficits now. Oh, do you? Oh, you've started training. No, don't move. No, no, don't get on the boats. <laughs> get off the boats. <laughs> there should so be a get off the boats button. Like, I just moved all my troops from East Prussia to, the, to Germany by accident. <laughs> no, ah, he's weak. The time to strike ah. is now. 
that's the thing like when troops get on boat boats and you don't want them to, there should be a button which says do not ever get on boats yeah absolutely because the number of times yeah. divisions are like i'm gonna go and surround the english channel right now and get sunk by the british navy i absolutely oh, agree sake. it's it's ridiculous yeah. You yeah, should always there. be able to say, you know, never ever take to a boat. But well, I personally have a 40,000 infantry deficit, so... Uh, Seriously? <laughs> yeah, that's starting, there's that's the base start as the Soviets. You start with that's, negative 40,000. Um, that's pretty rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to experiment with uh, Speed 4 just to see if it'll work? Uh, you can do. I don't know if it'll, if our internet will keep up, but... I have looks problems. Looks like it is so oil. far. Obviously, once civil wars and surface, 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 surface. Okay, we're cool. Awesome. I have enough. I have enough stuff. Yeah, you with your surfaces. Go. <laughs> I don't. I don't have surfaces. I have surfaces on my resources now. I just. Oh, I see. I see. You've been doing some bought trading. Some more, bought some more oil off the Americans. Yeah, fair enough. You should buy it from me. No, because then you'll get stronger. <laughs> I'm not stupid. So? This is this is a so. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about that. I don't want you to kill me. <laughs> so what's the win condition? Is it just capitulation? Or is yes. it like beat the whole it's faction? It's, it's winning. Just capitulation, alright. But do I have Basically, to take yeah, out... Basically, yeah, just, do I have just to kill beat the Japan? other people. Do I have to beat Japan? I don't want... I don't well, want well if, if, you, if you've beaten me, then, <clears throat> then that's the end of the game. Because like, yeah, okay, I've good. lost. Good. So I don't have to bother with Japan. That's nice to hear. Well, I mean, maybe. Otherwise Japan will kill you. Well, nah. Just defend Vladivostok. I have to defend these, uh, what, two ports? Be fine. I might declare war on China. <laughs> not now, but, I mean, to secure the border later on. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to make sure I've not forgotten anything. Uh, what else should I do? Oh yeah, I know what I should do. What were the rules? So there's no early wars with, um... No early wars with the AI, and we have to take the pact. No AI wars until 1939. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. The German Reich is supporting the growth of a political party in Turkey. Interesting. Don't, don't look at that. And Bulgaria. Why Bulgaria? They go to you anyway. And Romania, not they always, go, don't they? Romania do not always go to the to the Axis. They they no, always Romania, fuck about and, and give a nonsense about just yeah. stuff. I need, I need their royal way. Romania <laughs> goes to you if I claim Bessarabia. All right, do you want to claim Bessarabia for me? <laughs> I've got. I can only do that after the uh, claims on Poland. <clears throat> All right, what can I do? Now? Oh, I forgot about that. Nice. I'm going to join you in your mobilized state. You're not in war, are you? No, good. I mean, like, war economy. I was concerned. You can't, can you? World tension stops that shit. Yeah, but I'm a communist. Oh, so, so, you can, so you can go to it, can you? Uh, not war, not war, partial. I was worried that you were at war, uh, and I was only going to be behind you at partial. I'm, but... I'm, in, I'm in partial economy. Yeah, yeah, war yeah. economy. Partially mobilized, that's what I mean. I think the only person that starts above partial is uh, P-Rock. Oh, so. right. Or just China? No, China starts with civilian. Okay, so the positive heroism or collectivist propaganda. Uh, um, what I need, I don't even know what I need actually. Probably some of that. I'm thinking I'm just. All right, what focus are you doing? I'm, I am hmm, way 20. more stressed in this than I am normally playing single player as Germany. Like, because <laughs> I can't pause. Yeah, I know. I, so I, feel like I feel like I'm constantly forgetting stuff. <laughs> I had that in my EU4 collab with uh, Lambert the other day. I, I, my heart was pounding, but I was, I was desperately trying to snake this uh, person out from under him, and it just worked. I was so surprised. I see you're 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 you're, yeah. you're offering a treaty there. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't even know what the Russians get out of it. The Russians, uh, I get loads of tank tech, but not as much as you. And if I refuse it, I lose loads of tank tech. Like it makes it a hundred percent slower or something. Ah. Oh. I feel like this could be uh, this could be entertaining. No, you can't boost the fighting in my country. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, BS. That's probably not actually worth it. <laughs> I was thinking I could stage a pretty huge coup. <laughs> but like, if you made me Soviet, like communist, like okay, I'm communist, but like you still got to beat me. 
No, no, a coup. <laughs> I could start a coup. Oh, and then a coup. Civil war, and then I'd invite them to my side. Mm, I guess, yeah. Because you could. Oh, Germany's great for starting coups against. Because if you start it up in Schleswig Holstein, then you only have to defend two provinces that aren't behind a river. Uh, I guess that's true, yeah. It's always nice cooing generally. Yeah. These subs are being built in the wrong place. Oh yeah, good point. Thank you. I had forgotten to uh, pick where my ship's deployed. Let's just merge up our fleet. Standard. Why can't I put them in? I don't know. Let's go join this fleet here. Oh, uh, I think we should add another rule. Okay. Uh, which is you have to declare war on the Allies. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting a little bit restrictive on me. Oh come <laughs> on. <laughs> what? Just, just, just in in general. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm sure it'll happen anyway, because Poland will probably call them in, but... Yeah, but I mean, I mean, yes, yeah, so you have to do Danzig or War. That's all I mean. I don't mean, like, oh, you like, have to, like... Oh, well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't not do Danzig or War. Yeah, I just feel like, because you, if you, you could just wait till, uh, 40, where, whenever <laughs> it is, just, and then just, just never attack Poland. Yeah. <laughs> so or you could, border. Like, yeah, or you could do, uh, Danzig for Slovenia, and then you'd get Poland in your faction, for example, which means you wouldn't be at war with the I've, Allies. I've never done that. Have you not? No. The... It works. It I, works. Basically, I basically just kill him as fast as I can. Good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> um. Do, 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 do. All right. So people watching my my video will see the gamey strat that I'm employing. Right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go and watch your video after we finish this. <laughs> <clears throat> So we're probably going to do uh, one video a day. Does that sound good? Yes. I think probably yes. doing more than that, we wouldn't be able to keep it up. Two would be too many. Mm. You're right. Right. Do you tend to train your divisions? Varies. Mm -hmm. On how much equipment I have. And well, I've, I've got minus. How important it is to train divisions. Yeah. I, I had divisions. minus. I had minus forty thousand, and I started training my entire army. So. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I don't think so, because I've got a long time to to build up this deficit. I guess. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't tend to do it if they haven't got the equipment to do it. Yeah. And I'll to, focus normally on just training armor divisions. To tease you a bit about, just to see if you can figure out my, my strat, I currently have a negative infantry deficit of 136,000 pieces of infantry equipment. Mine's not that high. <laughs> no. Uh, by a, by a factor of of like twenty, mind <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit crazy. I've got I've got three hundred divisions being trained. Three hundred divisions. Damn right. That's too many. <laughs> quail, quail before the Soviet wrath. <laughs> we well, haven't. You have plenty of troops. That's that's definitely uh, true. I agree. What am I doing here? I'm going for this one here. I think. Nice. <laughs> Right, Got that treaty. To, Locked to purge. out. Time to purge these uh, disloyal officers. I'm going to declare war on you now. <laughs> uh, Why are you right, weak? Let's get a military theorist, I think. I, do you always start with a military theorist? I feel like that's always like my first move. Yeah, for the army experience game. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing here now, then? Building some autobahns, I see. Yes. Hmm. Now, how could I muck with your Turkish plan? You, you can't. There is there is no stopping it. <laughs> I think I think I will be fine with you calling Turkey in. Oh, what's happened? Oh, Spanish Civil War. All right, let's. Uh, Why are we on speed five? How did that happen? I, I don't know. I didn't increase it. Maybe I did when I unpaused it by accident. Nah. I didn't increase it as well. Oh, no, weird. <laughs> that was, I swear that wasn't like a, a cheap tactic, don't worry. Yeah, we're actually Spain. Got some troops, yeah? <laughs> we think I'm going to send my main man, Erwin Rommel, down there. Rommel? Huh. Rommel? He's no match for Zukov. Zukov's shit. Zukov's great. <laughs> that right. guy. Speed two, yeah? Yeah, speed two. That's, awesome. that's fine. Do you tend to run with generals? As the, opposed to field marshals? The only time I ever use a general is when I'm sending volunteers. Literally the only time ever. I nearly always use generals. Yeah, I, I, I tend to group my troops in groups of 24. 
Roughly, I mean, it depends. Fighting Russia, I, I would might use more field marshals because it's just it's a large area. Yeah. It's a nightmare to do in individual ones. Um, but I try to use Germans as much as I can because they're better. They're not. Their traits are just worse. Way worse. Apart from anything else, offensive doctrine is amazing. Entrenchment plus 30% is amazing. And what generals get, like, bonuses in specific terrain. It's not that good. Yeah, I guess. I guess. And the other one, yeah, max planning. Max planning is really good. I guess. I think it's so, like, because I'm so used to playing against the AI, where you just, like, don't have to think about these things. Yeah. I just don't, I just don't worry about it. I'm just like, yeah, be alright. You need to play smaller nations. Play Luxembourg. Luxembourg's fun. I, I've never played, I've never played Luxembourg. You should I play some, Luxembourg. I've played some pretty small nations. I played, who did I play with who was really small? Hungary's fairly small. Um, Hungary, yeah, Hungary, are pretty, Hungary are pretty small. They're quite powerful though. They start off with a decent, decent factory base. Hmm. A good, a good nation to play is, is playing as Greece and going, and going communist and then fighting the Germans. I've never played Greece. That could be fun. It's, yeah. it's fun. It's fun because like you don't win. And like, mountain defense. Really easily. Well. It's difficult to do because Germany are powerful, and then they go and capitulate Russia, and you're left, on, you're left sort of on your own. <laughs> which you happened to, become, to me, and I did it. You managed to become a major fast enough, but that didn't just mean the war ended. Oh right, yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. The nationalists are pushing hard, and my guys still aren't there. Your guys there yet? No. No. Good. Nationalists gonna win, mate. They always win. I uh. With me as the Soviets, AI versus it in single player, I can always make them win. But against you with volunteers, I'm not so confident. What have you sent over? It's only three you can send, yeah? I've sent two cavalry divisions, obviously. Two cavalry divisions? I don't believe Yeah. You. I don't believe you. I've sent, I've sent two two battalions of mountaineers mm -hmm. and two cavalry ones. And that All makes right. one division of four. That's definitely it. <laughs> I'm, I think he might be lying to me. <laughs> uh, Taking ages to get there. I have unassigned divisions. There we go. Just got rid of forty thousand of my uh, infantry equipment deficit. It's nice. What in one go? Yeah. <laughs> how did you do that? Is that, is that a focus? Nope. I don't understand that. How did you get forty k in one go? Now I've got four hundred divisions training. I, I don't understand. Get, <laughs> I reduced my deficit. I didn't get uh, yeah, that amount. Oh, you just... Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Did you make your divisions have less people in them? There you go. Yeah. I'm training... So, you, uh, so you've gone down to 10 combat width ones, then? Uh, no, I'm training some cavalry with combat width 4. Soon to be 2. Combat, combat width of what? 4. 4 combat width? It's about to be 2, as soon as I get enough army experience. Why? Why? I don't understand this. No, this good. Good. This is a really curious strategy that I'm, I've never understood. Before. I'm glad you don't understand this. This is good news. Where should, where should I put this factory? What do I need? I need tanks. Where right. are my tanks arrived? There they are. Aha, I knew we were going to send tanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, they're only, they're only Panzer twos. Only Panzer twos. I haven't got any Panzer threes yet. Even with that trade treaty? Go on, get going. I haven't I haven't got high research slots free since then. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your troops? No way. I haven't sent any. Pay no attention. <laughs> you don't need to worry. Don't you worry your little head about the Soviets. <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> Pay no attention to the uh, nationalists losing their capital. Wait, what? <laughs> where is where is Nash's capital anyway? Oh, but it just moved. <laughs> oh, oh, Zaragoza, I see. It used to be Zaragoza. Well, I'm trying to take the Bilbao. There we are. Bilbao, okay, that's good to know. He's got troops up there. Hmm, problem is, if you come down, you could probably pocket me over here. Yeah, like that. You've already been pocketed by the, That's fine. By the AI. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't need those tanks anyway. Oh, you've got two tanks down here as well. I see them. <laughs> pocketed by the AI. That is rather embarrassing. It's so much harder when you can't pause, isn't it? Um, Yeah, substantially. I swear, I pause like 75% of the time when I'm playing this game. Do you, yeah. use, do you use battle plans much? 
Well, I, I always set them oh, yeah, yeah. To, to get the bonus. Yes. I try to micromanage as much as I can. Yeah, I always. But when I it's when, when the fronts are enormous, when the fronts are enormous, I um. Yeah. I, I skimp on it a little bit. Basically, when the fronts are enormous, I tend to just micro pockets until I've worn them down enough that I can just auto it. I find that works yeah. quite well. Because when you're microing, you can always get awesome pockets. Where are my out. tanks going? Don't retreat, you bastards. Oh, here you are. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? How long until you get there? Two hours. No, that's too soon. Back off, back off, back off. Can't fight those tanks. This is going to drag on forever, isn't it? Uh, I, can already no. see, I can already see it's going to be a stalemate, and like we're going to go back and forth for like 10 years. <laughs> no, you're going to win. Uh, unfortunately, you have your 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 side's AI is just so much more powerful. Yeah, it's got more factories, and they start and fully equipped, whereas my side starts about one third equipped. So you cross a river. What are you doing? Stay on your side of that river. <laughs> ah, fuck's sake! Yeah, there we go. This is more difficult than it is against the AI. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the idea. Normally I just normally I just roll over them. <laughs> and end it in like two months, right? You didn't expect Zukov and his tanks. To get creative. Well, actually, get creative next time. Yes. Okay. So in the, uh, the next episode we'll carry on this uh, this war, which I mean I already lost I already lost tanks. <laughs> this is not great. I'm down 800 units of light tanks, but uh, hopefully... Well, just on this Thanos of a war. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and plus I trained them all, but... Yeah. Anyway, until next time, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. See you later.